Test, test, one, two, testing, testing, all right. That seems like that works. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm going to assume that I'm in frame because I am using a camera that does not have a flippy screen, so your guess of this being in focus and, you know, like, it's as good as mine. Welcome to an episode of What's in the Bag, an old series that I thought I'd never bring back, but I guess I'm bringing it back. Guess who's back? Back again, what's in the bag? Okay, that doesn't work. I am happy to announce that today, I can proudly say that we have a sponsor! The sponsor is, well, I, ah, oh, shoot, I messed up. Let's start over, okay? Today, we're gonna be, ah, oh, shh. So without further ado, let's find out what's in the bag! Do you guys remember this old series? You guys, the OG YouTuber people? Oh god, this bag is dirty. This bag is actually made out of real leather and I didn't take care of it, so it smells funny. <coughs> <coughs> oh, it's dusty. Let's find out what's in the bag, everybody. Oh god, in the bag. Oh god. Oh, it didn't fall right. Hey, we have a sponsored video! Tokyo Treat actually reached out to me and they asked me to make a video for them with their treats. Yummy! It is dinner time and I'm gonna spoil my appetite. Before we begin, I just wanna say that this is actually a sponsored video and I'm very happy that we finally got it. Forget Zions because they never sponsored me. We're going with Tokyo Treat. <laughs> oh god. Alright, let's crack open not sponsored by Zions. Oh, I need cup holsters. My friend didn't want this table and they gave it to me, so I somehow managed to get it up in my garage and this is basically gonna be replacing those dinner tables that I used to use to film these videos. Okay, I don't really know how to do this. I forgot how to do unboxing videos. I did them a long time ago and I never really cared to learn the art of unboxing. So let's just start off. I need knife. Ah. Great, that was anticlimactic. Ow, did I? Okay, I didn't cut myself. All right, everybody, let's find out what, oh, it opens this way. Let's find out what's in the box. Oh, what is it? I can't see. Oh, nice. Hashtag Tokyo Treat. Hashtag Grand Lives Matter. Sponsored video. Oh, uh, yeah. <coughs> so if you guys remember, I did do a taste test video with my squad. I guess that's what you would call them. The Pee Wee Squad. Fishy and the gang. Oh, Jesus. And I think that that segues very nicely into this video. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's actually one of my favorite videos that I've made with the gang. So I'm very happy with that one. But focus on the matter at hand, Grant. Mm, okay. What does this say? Slice of Summer, Volume 44, August 2019. Wow, this has been going on for a while and I didn't know about them until after Anime Expo. Hey there, Tokyo Treat fam. We hope you've been enjoying the summer weather. No, I haven't. It's been ridiculously hot. We certainly are feeling the heat in Japan. I can only imagine. Like, I feel like Japan gets hotter than Hawaii and I know that people wear like full on like jackets and they style their hair even more than my hair is. And I, I can't imagine doing that in a hundred degree weather. This month, we wanted to bring you a box that conveys the feeling of summer in Japan and have thought together a number of fresh fruity flavors and some salty savory treats as well. We hope you enjoy this month's slice of summer Tokyo treat box. Love the Tokyo treat crew. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate this. I'm actually very happy that um, I get to eat something because I'm very hungry <laughs> after a long day of work. Okay, so this basically is like a snack menu. Oh, Oh, there's no oh, never mind. I thought that there was a drink in here. No, there is Pepsi refresh shot Where's that? Ah Cola, I'm gonna keep this in the fridge because I have that and I want to try this later All right special. Thanks to Yags for getting me that mini fridge. It really helps out a lot What else have we got in here Japanese cola? I'm very I'm actually kind of curious to know what Japanese cola tastes like versus American coca-cola Lucky treat every month all our subscribers are automatically entered for a chance to win our lucky treat full of awesome goodies from Japan Ugh, Look at that. It's it's my hero academia nut mini contest Take a picture of yourself with your favorite fruity treat and your Tokyo treat box and upload that pic to social media using hashtag Tokyo treat hashtag Tokyo fruity do this by September 10th 2019 so if you're watching after that date then this video is probably outdated but you get a chance to win all of this discover Japan what do Japanese people do in summer summertime in Japan is filled with 
many matsuri or festivals. At these festivals, it is very common to dress up in a yukata. Oh, that, that summer robe. Uh, so, yeah, exactly. A summer robe! Similar to a kimono, but lightweight to avoid overheating in the hot, humid weather. That's a good thing. There usually are many food stalls selling street food like takoyaki, octopus balls, chocolate-covered bananas, yakisoba, grilled corn, baked potato, and butter grilled squid or other seafood. Konomiyaki. I've heard these words, I never knew what they were. Ah. Pancake made out of veggies and meat. <coughs> Sausages and more delicious treats. Many festivals will have some sort of performance, a parade, dance, drumming, a ceremonial chant while carrying a mikoshi, a portable Shinto shrine. A portable Shinto shrine. What? This part is very lively and the volunteers participating will often dress in traditional clothing or fundoshi, very short yukata-like top. During the night, as the festivals and performers slow down, they will often be a uh, hanbai, hanbai display. Fireworks! Ah, I know fireworks. Throughout the summer of Japan, it is common to have multiple firework displays on every weekend. Wow, every weekend? Let's learn Japanese. No, <laughs> I am not going to embarrass myself that way. Okay, and so here are all the ways that you can take photos of yourself with your Tokyo treat. So if you buy a Tokyo treat box from me, make sure you take a picture and send it to the hashtag, what is it? Hashtag Tokyo treat. Oh no, my mini fridge is making noise. Sorry if you hear that little like rumbling in the background. I need to keep my mini fridge on. Usually I unplug it for videos like this, but I need that on so I can make my cola cold. Don't miss out on this special subscriber only feature. Check out our forum for exclusive giveaways, special announcements, and to chat with the rest of the Tokyo Treat fam. What up, G fam? That's what I'm gonna call you guys. Okay, no, I'm not. Uh, and then there's there's the talks more about Japanese food. Um, and then there's a crossword puzzle. Here, pause the screen and find all the words. The person who finds all the words get a crisp high five from me. All right. So that's that's what you get. You get this this little pamphlet that's really that that's really entertaining. Now, let's see what we've got. We've got. I can't read that. We've got some kind of crab crackers. Oh, I, I know these. These are like the, the little corn roll things. This has um, Zedraimon on it. That his body looks his body looks a little too big to be Doraemon. Ooh, this looks like gummies. I can't tell what this is. Uh oh. I cannot understand this. You put that in there, and then you kind of I guess clamp them together. Maybe you put it in the fridge, and then it comes out as gummies. Uh, that's through my detective work at deciphering by looking at the back what this is. I feel like I'm gonna mess this up. Uh, is this edible? Oh, this is just like little, um, little Pez pellets or something. We have ice cream. Oh, this looks good. You know what? I'm just gonna start digging in, okay? We're gonna start off with, uh, let's just do something simple that everybody knows. Kit Kat. We're gonna start off with some Kit Kat that is lemon flavored Kit Kat. I like lemon, sort of, sometimes. All right. Okay, Kit Kat, lemon Kit Kat. Oh, this something happened to this one. <laughs> Deformed lemon Kit Kat flavor. Let's try it out, shall we? It's too bad that this did not come during Comic Con because I had this whole idea of making this video by actually giving other people the treats and have their reactions filmed. But sadly, because this came from Japan, it took a lot longer and we didn't have that opportunity. But I'm glad that you guys are still with me if you're watching this right now. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, leave all that fun stuff and hit the bell if you subscribe. And if you haven't, then subscribe. Oh, okay. A lot more sour than I thought it would be. But I mean, what do you expect? It's lemon. That probably should not have been the first thing I tried. All right, well, this is fun. Let's keep going. I have a bit of a sweet tooth. I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna try all of the sweet stuff first. I mean, I'm sure a lot of these are sweet, but some of them are salty and savory, but I just wanna eat candy. Ooh, this one, this actually smells really good. What is this? It seems like it's a strawberry ice cream. I'm, by my detective work, I'm going to say that this is a strawberry ice cream cone made of marshmallow. All right, bon appetit. Oh, that's not, oh. It tastes like there's, ah, it's sour. Sour is not what I was expecting, but I don't know if you can see it in there. I don't know if my camera's even focusing. There's like some kind of jelly thing in here. I wasn't expecting that. 
Good job, Tokyo Treat. You you made me surprised. More surprised than when I bit this thing and the the cone crumbled. Oh, it doesn't even go all wait. What is that? There's like white stuff at the bottom of this. Oh yeah, see, there's like wait. What is that? There's like white stuff at the bottom. Oh, it's all fizzy. Oh, sour. <coughs> ah, that doesn't go well with that. <coughs> Jesus. Ugh. Okay, that was weird. Not what I was expecting, but that was that was interesting. I need something that probably will be sweet. I'm assuming that this is sweet, cause I used to I, I ate these before and I always liked them. So we'll try it. Yeah. I just need something to balance out that that sour aftertaste in my mouth. Um, oh, more lemon. This tastes like what? I I didn't see that at the bottom there. There are three singing lemons with the yodeling Doraemon over here. Oh, it's weird. It's like it's causing mixed reactions because in my mind, I'm thinking that this was gonna be corn flavored and it was gonna be sweet, sweet and salty. But this is like sour and salty. Or this is sour and sweet. What does this taste like? I know this tastes like something and I can't put my finger on it. Oh, it tastes like fruity pebbles is what it tastes like the lemon one. I hate that it's all stuck in my teeth now. Ah, no. Okay, I can't drink this. <coughs> Jesus. Oh, God. I can unplug this. It doesn't make noise anymore. Ah, ah. All stuck in my teeth. So far, we're off to a little bit of a rocky start. I'm not going to lie. <coughs> Jesus. Let's open up the cola. Ah, oh, gosh. That was a big pop. Japanese Koraru. Pepsi refresh shot. Desu des. It's hard to tell what if it tastes any different from American cola, mainly because this is warm. I didn't give it enough time in the freezer. It's so tiny though. It's so cute. Okay, what else we got? All right, finally something something I like. Fun fact about me: I like gummies. Gummies are nice. Oh, look at that. They they give me a nice little assortment. We'll try the duplicates first. I really need to clean my palate before I eat these. Oh, shh. People keep talking to me. Oh, why is everybody messaging me? Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna have an upset stomach tomorrow. Okay, um, these just taste like regular gummies. God dang. Okay, you know what? Oh, Jesus. Okay, wait, I'll eat one more. Yeah, but I mean, these aren't bad. It's just that I had this in my mouth. Oh my god. Why am I in a group chat that people can't stop talking? Get out of here. I'm not gonna throw it there. If I throw it there, I'm gonna forget that my phone is there. Ah, uh, okay. Next, what else is, I don't wanna eat Pez candy. This looks like grapefruit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a big fan of grapefruit. My parents used to try to feed me that a lot as a kid and I never really liked it, but, oh, it's gummies. I didn't, I was expecting potato chips. I didn't realize it was gonna be gummies. It's orange flavored, not, not grapefruit. Ah, mm. These are actually really good. Oh, hello. There's an orange right on the box. Did not see that. This is actually pretty good. Not gonna lie. Good stuff. These gummies are good. I'm just gonna like dump them in here and I will keep that there. The gummies have a weird smell though. They don't smell like American gummies. I am gonna feel so sick tomorrow because I did not eat much today. What else we got? Uh, you know what, let's just do the chips. I like chips. How do I open you? Oh, Jesus. Ooh. These actually don't smell that bad. They, they don't smell like American chips, but they're like very greasy smelling. It's actually, it smells organic and fresh. Why is it hot? Oh! It's wasabi flavor. I did. I did not realize. I did not realize it was hot. It's not that bad. I'll give you more to know about me. I'm not very good at hot stuff, and that actually it, it didn't really burn my mouth, but it kept it made a surprise. It was a very big surprise for me. I'm gonna leave that on the side because I don't like hot stuff. Okay, we've tried a lot of the. Oh, you know what? I just want to try this. This actually looks pretty interesting. Um, I noticed this right here. That's that, um, that, that soda with the marble in it, I think. Caramel corn. Hey, caramel corn sounds pretty good. I think I'm gonna save this 
for the very end because I want to end on a good note. We started off kind of bad because I wasn't expecting things to be sour. It took a turn when I thought we were just going to eat regular chips and it burned my mouth just a bit. So we're going to go with uh, this right here. I think that these are like crab crackers. I don't know if um, they're supposed to taste fishy. I don't know. Is that a cat? It looks like a cat. Okay. They just taste like regular crackers. They're cute. They have like little faces on them. And they're a lot thicker than I thought they were gonna be. I thought they're gonna be very flaky, but they're actually kind of thick. Yeah, I mean, I think that they're supposed to taste like crab. I don't know. This one looks like it's mad. But if you turn it around and look at the back, it kind of looks like it's a sad cat. I don't, I don't know if you can see that. It looks kind of sad. Okay, um, what else can we try? I am very curious about this and I want to see what happens if I do this. I want to see what this is. What? I don't understand. Oh, okay. I kind of understand. Okay, so. I need a table. I think that these are supposed to be, do I? Wait, where's the, I need the instructions. I lost the instructions. How will I ever know how to make it? Okay, well, we'll just do a little bit of experimentation. <laughs> I like this, it's like a little, um, it's a little like, Oh hey, we're sell- oh gosh, I'm gonna break this. Like, we're selling fresh things, so come check it out. There, see, it's like, you, you put it up like this, maybe? And it's like, it's it's the vegetable shop. Hey, oh, okay, you don't wanna stay. Vegetable shop. So, I guess what you're supposed to do is take some of these, break it, put it in here, you take this, and I guess, um, well, let's just do all of them. We're gonna take this thing elongated and we're gonna I guess put it in this zucchini looking thing take the pink one and break off a piece of that put it put it in here I'm not gonna bother with the strawberry thing but then the way that this works and according to my detective work I'm doing it right you take this you kind of put them put them all on each other and you, you kind of just squish them down like that I think I did it wrong oh god did I do it wrong maybe oh Okay, so then you, you squeeze it out like that, and you push really hard, and when you open it, the yellow one didn't do anything. <laughs> it's a There's like a little face on this one, you can't see it. But basically, I think that's what's supposed to happen. Is it edible? I don't know. I can't read Japanese, but because this is Tokyo Treat, I'm going to assume that this right here is edible. So, if this is Play-Doh, I am very sorry if I encourage any of you to try and eat it but we are gonna try and eat it now okay is was that gum I can't tell if that was gum or not well it's not sticking it kind of like dissolves after a while ah these are actually really sugary oh no what'll happen if we we do this here we go in the name of science Arrgh. science Rules, Bill Nye, the science guy. Yeah. All right, and here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this and we're gonna leave that on the side and look at it later. Awesome. Back to what's inside. Oh, that was really sweet. Okay, we already ate the crab cakes. We've only got a couple more, actually. Uh, I'm gonna try this because this looks pretty sweet. This doesn't look like it's gonna be sour. It doesn't look like it's gonna be spicy. It looks like it's just gonna be a nice little snack. How do I open it? Oh, okay. Let's try. This is basically what this was supposed to taste like. I thought that this was gonna taste like this. Little did I know that this had a lemony taste. I can already feel my stomach getting upset from eating all of this. I didn't eat dinner yet either. <clears throat> This is what I get for pumping out a video a day. I'm gonna just make the videos. Okay. Before we continue, I just want to say thank you so much for watching it. If you've managed to get through this video this far, I applaud you. Don't forget to check out merch at grantuchida.com. There's teespring slash stores slash grants merch. Buy yourself a Grant Classic t-shirt that's been available for like the past five years. 
or get yourself a Grant Lives Matter t-shirt because I never get enough food and now I have too many of it. I'm assuming that this is like the, the, the crumbly pasty, I don't know how to explain it, but this powdery candy that you just crunch in your mouth. I'm assuming it's grape flavor because this is a purple thing and it said, I, I can't read what that said, I destroyed it. Anyways, bottoms up. <laughs> ah. ah, maybe I ate too much at once. That is really sweet and it does not go well with this thing. <laughs> Oh, that makes it worse. Mmm, yummy. Since we're on the roll of that, let's uh, let's pop these in too. This, I'm assuming, should be grape flavored, cause you know, why not? Oh my god. Oh, yeah. I don't think you're supposed to eat that many of these at once. Ugh. He's watering. Oh my god, did I get spit on my camera lens? I'm sorry. I'm sorry guys. How's that? Is that better? Oh my god. I'm gonna have such a stomachache tomorrow. Um, there's a couple more things that we have left. This will be the grand finale. Oh, look at our crops. <laughs> They're growing. <laughs> Tokyo Treat, if you do not decide to sponsor me again, I completely understand. I'm sorry. So, this has been a very interesting experience. What is this? Uh, oh, this is gum. All right, we have gum. I'm gonna save this for later. Is this Yu-Gi-Oh? No, I'm way off. That, if anybody knows what this is, I think that's Poke- Oh yeah, it's Pokemon. I didn't see the Pokeballs on the side of the thing over here. I didn't- so that's Pokemon. Ugh, Jesus. All right, the grand finale. I'm actually really excited for this. How? Ah. Oh my god, that smells so good. It does smell like caramel. Let's try it. Oh my god, that is good. It leaves like a weird aftertaste for a split second and then that taste goes away. Oh, that's because it's this drink. It tastes like a fuzzy soda. That's amazing. Oh my god. Mmm. This, worth it. I actually really like this. I am gonna have ants in here, I swear. I just cleaned this place too. Well, thanks for watching What's in the Bag, Tokyo Treat Edition. Thank you, Tokyo Treat, for sponsoring this video. I really, really, really appreciate it. You have no idea how long I've been trying to get sponsored. If you guys would like to try your own Tokyo Treat box, click the link in the description. It's gonna be right down there in the bottom. For everybody who puts in their subscription, you help benefit this channel. I'm gonna be taking a break from making videos because I have been making like daily videos for the past couple of months and I haven't had any time to do anything else and I really want to. I wanna start working on my cosplay music album. I wanna start finishing up my next children's book. I wanna do all these things. But I realize I can't quite do that when I'm making videos constantly. So consider this to be the last video for a while. But hey, that just means that there's more things coming in the future. And this year has been an incredibly crazy year for me. I can't wait to see what next year has in store even though we still have a lot more time left oh, geez. but anyways thank you guys so much I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I don't know what this video is it's just a mess um but yeah oh god I'm not gonna feel well tomorrow thank you for watching this video I have no idea what this channel is anymore but if you guys want to support me Go ahead and pick up your own box of Tokyo Treat, link down below as I said before. And also, if you would like to help support this channel even further, you can buy my children's book on Amazon.com. You can buy my merch at teespring.com/stores/grantsmerch. I, I don't. I'll leave it down below. But whatever contribution you make to this channel, I greatly appreciate it. And I hope that you guys have a fantastic night. I have to clean this up, and I have to edit this video. So. Thank you so much for watching. Oh my god. I'll see you guys on the next video whenever that may be. Take care. Bye. Oh. Okay, this is still salvageable. Oh, that's so sour. Why is it sour? Oh. Oh, I forgot about the gum. It's grape. Grape flavored gum. <coughs> oh my god. It almost went down my throat. For sale in Japan only. That's in English. Uh, 
I, I'll be honest, I don't really like grape that much. <laughs> this, this gum actually tasted really good. It's just, I think I wasn't supposed to eat all of it at once. I'm going back to the gummies. The gummies were actually really good. <coughs> oh. oh, God. All right, we're done.